Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for you. This is going to be for Virgo, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember, <clears throat> this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it as I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel, such as healing generational curses and childhood trauma. My lovelies, I don't want to take that one. Alrighty. Let's see what we got going on. I don't want to take that one because I just pulled it. It wasn't like calling out to me. Cross watchers, you're very welcome here. However, I don't know how to sugarcoat, so take what resonates with your situation as everyone's stuff will be different let's see what we got going on virgos this is your energy this is your person this is the mutual most likely outcome or what's to come it would help if you could see the cards <laughs> all right let's see what we got going on virgos your person is on fire we have the ace of wands king of swords in reverse Ooh, magician in reverse and the moon taurian energy can definitely be scorpio or Virgo, the moon energy could be Pisces or Cancer. Doesn't always have to be. Let's see what we got. Why is someone mad? There's something very... Uh, it looks like somebody's like with the ace of bones they want to take action towards you but I feel like it's more so out of anger at the moment like they're getting very impatient or they're getting very angry and they want to take action towards you Virgo like it's almost like a fire in their bones like they have to hurry up and do it because the king of blades here it's either you cut somebody off, you don't talk to somebody, or they want to call and tell you off. There's a deep, like, anxious feeling like, I have to go do this. And I feel strongly for some of you, some of you, someone wants to go off on you. Someone wants to tell you off. Someone's angry. Someone's angry. Like, someone's bitter. And I feel strong like someone feels like they're losing control over you. I do feel that the magician in reverse, somebody feels like they they don't have control over you at the moment or they're losing their grip on you. They're losing their grip on reality. Somebody's losing it in general with the moon in reverse, like their delusion, like this upright can sometimes mean delusion. It can mean like illusion, like they thinking something is this way and it's not really that way. You know what I mean? They're thinking something about you and it's not going to play out that the way that they planned or they hope. And they're realizing like, damn, I'm delusional for thinking that this is going to work or this is going to happen or something like that. The moon there, like they're trying to come out of confusion and get actual clarity from you and come talk to you. But there's something about them being angry. There's something about them either being cut off from you or them not really... I keep hearing, throw me a freaking bone here. Throw me a freaking bone here. Who says that? I've heard that somewhere. Jim Carrey says that. I think it's Jim Carrey. Um, I do feel there's a lot of anger. I just keep getting anger, anger, anger. Tell me more about this person. What's going on with them? Like, why are they so angry? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They haven't had a chance to come talk to you, come see you, or apologize. And the Eight of Swords is here. Yeah, they're stuck at arm's length from you, or you have them blocked or some way, shape, or form to have made it clear that they cannot talk to you. Um... 
the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> they still want to see if they have a chance and they still want to extend an apology or they still have some sort of feelings left for you even if they're forced to turn their back away from the situation. Um, the tower in reverse, we keep getting that Sag energy. Sag energy in reverse, the tower, yeah, there's been like all hell broke loose at some point in time or recently and there has been definitely a judgment. Like there's been a total recall on this situation. I do feel that like somebody is pissed because you've made up your mind that they, you don't want anything to do with them. And then we have the four of pentacles here. You've released this person or you're tired of their crap or you have shunned them away and released them back to the world and to their energy. And then we have what is this justice in reverse and someone thinks it's unfair someone does not think it's fair because there is something about them not speaking their peace to you even though they that's why they want to angrily come talk to you because they feel like they didn't get to speak their peace to you with the death here it was just subtly ended the death is scorpio energy it's just like a cutoff like a ghosting um just like I blocked your number from one day to the next, something like that. There is definitely a feeling of... They, they feel like things haven't been resolved. There's like some sort of feelings of like feeling... How do I put this? I don't want to say the undead because that's what I keep wanting to say, the undead. But there's like unresolved business between you two. I keep hearing the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon. Someone was forced to move on with the three of swords under the deck. Somebody was forced to move on. And someone was just forced to let go. The Emperor in reverse. I'm hearing losing control by Russ. Y'all ever heard that? I'm losing control now. I think that they're all in their head. They're very much so. This might be one person or two. I'm getting strong one, one person. Is like having a mental breakdown, if anything. They're losing their mind. Page of Swords in reverse. I Why do I feel like they're kind of stalking you? Not stalking, but like a... Like, um... Subtly checking up on you. Peeking on you is what I'm hearing. Peeping or peeking? The Page of Swords is the stalker looky-loo energy card. Um... Like, you don't know. You don't know they're still figuring out, like, what you're doing. I'm not getting this as social media because I don't feel like it's social media. I feel like it's, like, I don't know if they're trying to ask friends or trying to, like, come at you with a fake profile, fake phone numbers, passing by in a different car. Somebody is afraid of pregnancy for some reason is what I'm hearing. Someone thinks that someone's pregnant or something. Or someone's afraid to see something or someone's imagining things in their head or looking at old pics. Um, someone can't stand the thought of you being intimate with somebody else. Five of Cups, it hurts them to think that you're laying with somebody else or being cozy with somebody else. Is that why they're angry? They're angry because that you seem happy without them or you seem happy letting this go or letting the situation just come to a close. And that's why they're angry. The King of Swords, again, we have the King of Swords, and then the King of Swords came out 
with the six of swords yeah they're they thought that you were going to be upset without them they thought you were going to need them they thought that you were going to call on them and you're not and now they find themselves in a position where they want to call you and they're angry about it because they cannot or you've made it clear that the love is not there anymore or something or there's no feelings or maybe no hard feelings but don't come back you know what I mean there's something very significant that they know they cannot just return at any given moment over here in your energy you have the nine of wands page of pentacles in reverse seven of swords and the death in reverse Scorpio energy again You've made it clear that you're not playing, Virgos. You have made it clear that you are not the one to be effed with or played with the way that this person was doing or whatever. You have this person blocked. You have them at arm's distance. I want to say conniving, but I also want to say cadaver, which is what I do not like. I'm getting strong... Um, that's weird. I just heard they're the same person. They are the same person. Hmm. There's so much hate coming out is what I'm feeling. There's a lot of hate coming out. And this also came out in your energy read, I think. Like uh, just a feeling of anger resentment bitterness the nine of wands is here talks about just that <clears throat> it talks about there's been pain and this is someone with a chip on their shoulder they're defensive they have a high wall they have high guards they have somebody blocked they don't let people in easily and they don't forgive easily either this is the wounded soldier card Something happened or someone hurt you, Virgo. It didn't take you out of your element. But you know better. You know better when it comes to whoever this is. And I think at this point in your life, Virgos, you're kind of like, nope. Nope. Blocked. You know, swipe right or left. What is it? Swipe left. Nope. Nope block nope I don't want to talk to you block you know what I mean like there's definitely like you're not playing you're not playing with this person you're not playing these games anymore I'm hearing all ears all ears somebody is like desperate to hear anything from you or perhaps you are expecting to hear from this person like if they catch you you might hear what they have to say but there's no way you're going to let them catch you to hear them out or something like that. I'm seeing like a dog's face, like a puppy dog's face. Like a like a big lassie dog or like a big fuzzy dog. I don't know what they're called. Um, and with the page of pentacles here in reverse, yeah, you definitely do not want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to forgive anything. You don't want to move on. There's something about like, oh, did you see that? My dog's hair was like on there. But I feel like one's crossed out. Like this could be one or two people. Um, this could be one or two people that you're dealing with. But I feel strongly like one's out of the question. One's out of the picture. But there is still somebody also. Like there's someone who... If they're trying to reach out, it's not getting through, it's not going through, or you're not willing to listen. All right, the Page of Pentacles is like, I don't care. I don't care about your apology. I don't care what you have to say. It's It doesn't even mean anything because a page is very um, immature energy. It's very, like, uh, prepubescent energy. It's like, this isn't even genuine. Like, this isn't even a heartfelt thing. You just threw some stuff together just to speak it. You know, like almost like you're speaking just to hear yourself. 
And with the Seven of Swords is here, it's because you know better. There has been deception. There has been deceiving energy. There has been some sort of weird... I just heard weird lying. Weird lies. Weird lies. That's what I'm hearing. Weird lies. But I also feel strongly like... This person loves, um, it's almost like someone's like baffled at this person's obsession or behavior towards you. Like I'm seeing someone like, like almost stick their neck out being like, what? Like, are you kidding? Are you serious? You know, like this person thinks obsession or toxicity is like strengthening the relationship i think this person does a lot or did a lot of like toxic things or deceiving things or or just weird things to hide how obsessed they are and obsession was coming out in your last reading virgo your energy reading there's a weird feeling of i love virgo so much but I can't show it that way. It's weird. Like they don't want to look like they're obsessed, but they are. They don't want to look like they're obsessed, but they are. It's almost like blinded by love. I almost said blinded by rage loves. I don't like that. Oh, I got the freaking chills. Um, I almost said blinded by by rage. Excuse me. <sighs> Yawn. Blinded by rage, but I almost said blinded by love. <clears throat> I think this person is very, very much so overly possessive overly possessive and as much as you keep saying that there's no way they could talk to you or come over or see you or whatever this person still has not given up the death in reverse this is super weird the death in reverse scorpio energy this person is still not given up this person is still holding on to the hope that it's not over that it's not over between you two even if you have concluded on your, you know, on your behalf that it is. In the mutual energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Lovers in reverse, which is Gemini energy. I feel strong like you're already made up your mind, Virgo. You're not going back. You're not letting this person in. You're not forgiving anything. You're not taking any type of, I almost said you're not taking no prisoners. Something is weird about that. Um, Knight of Pentacles and Lovers, you have separated yourself. You want someone to stay away. You want someone to, like, detach from you, separate from you, be far, far away. The Lovers in Reverse is distance. Knight of Pentacles is like, nope, I don't want absolutely any of your time, energy, money, um, wishes, spells, nothing. I don't want to hear anything from you, about you. I don't want to talk to you. I want you long gone. You know, I want you far away. It's over, it's over, it's over. That's all I keep hearing. It's over, it's over, it's over. Like the, the, the connection that you have with this person, whether it be romantic, friendship, whatever, it should be severed. But this person continuously still waits for uh, like some sort of hope or some sort of sign that this is not over. This is very strange. And I keep hearing it's the same person. They're the same person. I look over here and it's like they're the same person. And underneath the deck. We have the two of swords. The Two of Swords in reverse is like there's no more blockages. It's been cut. 
we've been getting the Three of Swords in Reverse a lot today for readings. The Three of Swords in Reverse, it's like, that's it. We've cut off the third party. We've cut off the things that are hindering or have hurt you or have broken your heart or have people that have betrayed you. Third party is pain. I'm sorry, Three of Swords is pain. It's um, heartache. It's heartbreak. It's trauma. It's trust issues. It's broken trust. For some of you, this might be the mother or father of your children. <gasps> Definitely might be. Definitely might be. And the Ten of Swords is like an inevitable ending that somebody is refusing to accept. Also feeling defeated. There's two people that have like... I wonder why they wanted me to use my Supernatural deck. Supernatural deck has two people on certain cards that other decks don't normally have. And I feel strongly there is something significant about two people. But I keep hearing they're the same person. Two people, but they're the same person. Someone is trapped in their own heart or their own mind because they cannot talk to you, Virgo. Someone is a prisoner in their own mind or in their own heart because they have not been able to talk to you, Virgo. I don't know. If this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Show me some love messages. I talk to people about you. Someone is talking about you to people. I don't know if they're talking very good. Let's see. Because that King of Swords is someone is someone talking good about Virgo? Absolutely not. They do not care what they're saying. They're just talking again to hear themselves talk about you. Knight of Swords in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. Nope. Two people are talking very harshly about you, I feel. Or they're talking to two people very harshly about you. Or maybe they're saying that you are talking harshly about two different people or people. Mm, yeah. <laughs> they just could not accept an ending here. They couldn't just pack their bags and say, thanks for the time. You know what I mean? They just cannot accept that you don't want to be anything with them at all. This ties in very closely to your energy read that's uploading, that uh, just uploaded as well. Focus on yourself. Yeah, you've been trying to just focus on yourself. I don't deserve you. I'm sorry for betraying you. Again, some level of deceit has taken place here. Spine? Yep, I told you. Spine. Somebody's been watching you. I don't like the spy card because I have social media lurking in here. Because um, these are my cards I created. So spying to me is a little bit something more than social media. And I feel like they're playing on your phone, loves. How many of y'all have been getting weird numbers or seeing weird things? Leave the past in the past. Someone just can't move on someone is addicted to you someone's addicted to i almost said brutality i don't like that like someone is addicted to being in pain someone's addicted to being hurt like it's very very strange they don't know what to do when they're not in a heartache or going through a heartbreak they don't know what to do to themselves and they keep themselves stuck there longer than what they have to it is a very strange energy there. Uh, cycles and routines. Yeah, this is something for them. Wide eyes. Again, like people are like, are you kidding me? And then we have isolation. Like you've isolated yourself from this person who continuously does these weirdo things. And we have wide eyes and there, someone's like on the outside like, are you joking? Are you kidding me? In the 25th hour, things are happening behind the scenes that you don't see in the spirit realm or um, in the spirit world. And we have goals, right? Just focus on your goals here. Empty bottle. 
bad energy within reach. Yeah, someone is very scorned. Someone might be drinking their pain away and we have freedom, but I think that you are definitely free from this energy. But outside perspective, there is definitely outside energies that are getting involved or being told about the situation. Like I said, I feel like people are like wide-eyed about the weird mm, uh, the weird behavior of someone here between you and this person. You know the answer. Trust yourself. I fall apart. Yeah, someone's losing their marbles, losing their, their mind. And I'm getting strong, like lost in their own in their own little world. I feel like I need to I feel like I need to get more on this side. Show me more love messages. Sexual attraction. Yuck. Again, didn't I say somebody doesn't like to think that you're being intimate with someone? I will never settle down. I want children with you. Past trauma. Sleepless nights. I do think that maybe this is somebody that you have kids with or could have had a very serious relationship with. I don't think that they're going to stop being jealous or possessive over you if that's the case. They can't sleep because there's something keeping them up at night. But look, yeah, that codependent energy with that codependency there. And then we have, I don't know how to express how I feel about you. So they do this weird behavior type stuff. My life is better with you. Um, instead of just being like, my bad, I'm sorry. Like I have issues or whatever it is, gossip, and I get bored too easily. Yeah, if they're not talking about you, they feel like you're going to fade away. Um, or the memory or the energy, you know what I mean? So they just be talking about you. It's so freaking weird. They're praying about you too. <clears throat> Damn it, we have stalker. I don't like that energy. A stalker, I'm over it. Karma. I use you for money slash sex and I prayed for you. Uh... My loves, I feel like for some of you, a very small percentage, this person who's doing weird things was sent to you as some sort of karmic debt. If some of you have used people for different things, uh, for instance, let me get what I'm what I'm seeing. Like, say if you use someone for money or for their money or for you know, you, you strung them along knowing there was no connection there in the past. Some of you were sent this person as karma because you shouldn't do that because some people can really get obsessed. And when people get obsessed, it gets a little bit scary, you know, and that's what I'm getting strong. For some of you, this was a karmic debt that was owed. And this person continuously prays that it's not going to stop. I feel very strange. My dog just grunted too. Like, what? Um, I feel very strange. I think someone's going to quit very soon though. Like, this behavior is going to cease once and for all. Look at that. I don't want anyone else to have you. What in the world? That is what I have for you, Virgos. I'm going to sage on that note. But that is what I have. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so very much. And I'll talk to you soon.